So today we're having an event for uh, high schoolers to come and participate in a Model United Nations simulation on campus. It's run by uh, students across different majors and they volunteer their time to provide the simulation for this fall conference. We do one in the spring as well. It seems like we don't really get out that much for such a small school, kind of up tucked away. So this was definitely a nice experience. Also just getting to be a country and feeling just so professional, it's kind of a different experience than what you used to. Well, one cool thing that we've gotten over the years is we've had high school students who came here to Chitlin and then they ended up coming to Central Michigan University and then they applied to be on staff and then be on the cabinet, uh, maybe take the Model UN class. So it's cool to just see the, the life cycle of that, but our, our mission really is to just watch students grow and give them a, an environment where they can do so. So we're not super serious about things, it's more just like uh, creating the conditions for them to stumble, to, to test things out, and to, to build their skill sets in communicating. I feel more confident with myself uh, being able to articulate something and negotiate and just make compromises with other, with other people. That was something we really had to emphasize on today. Yeah, I, I think that's the same with me. Um, definitely the articulation and, and uh, using, using uh, the obscure words of the English language to, <laughs> to uh, use them, so. I think a lot of um, the connections I made through Model UN have helped me to get to the place I am right now with my job and then also I've carried that on to applying to PhD programs and things like that so it's been really great connecting with people through the program but I'm excited to see what students rise up and take over the leadership of this organization and what they decide to do with it. I'll always be looking back and uh, supporting from a distance and uh, I think the program will do good regardless of the times. You know, last year during COVID, they moved to an online virtual conference. We were one of the first uh, conferences in the state at that time to hold the virtual conference. So I think that they can um, overcome any challenges that come their way. Thank you.